Revelation because I thought I would change it up a little bit today. And this whole month, we are talking about determination, which is deciding that it's worth it to finish what you started. Now, sometimes that can be hard, but today I thought we would have a little fun with that. And we have this little determination challenge. That means I've got jello, and inside of my jello is 15 pennies. Okay, I'm gonna give myself 30 seconds to grab all of the 15 pennies out and put them in this bowl right here. And the catch is, I'm gonna be blindfolded. So here goes nothing, okay? Let me put my blindfold on. Okay, make sure I know where the bowl is. Put my hair back. All right, put the timer up. Ready, set, go! Oh gosh. Oh gosh. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's so close. Seven and eight. Hard to count them. Here we go. Alrighty. Oh, this is my new blindfolded guy. Ah, it's so cold. It's so cold. I can hardly touch. Oh gosh, I missed the ball. Okay, okay. We'll have to pick those up later. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, I missed the bowl again. There it is. Okay, did I get them all? I don't know. Okay, I think I did. Ah, uh, my hands are too cold. Okay, I give up. Just kidding, I got them all. All right, did I make it in 30 seconds? My hands are freezing, you guys. That was so much fun. Okay, go ahead and stand up. We're gonna sing a song together and then we'll hear our story from the so-and-so show and come back at the end so that we can tie it all together. Can't wait to see ya. up the door.
Oh yeah. Hello everyone. My name's John. And I'm Brandon. And this is the uh... Hey buddy, you okay? So and so show! This is the so and so show. That's what it is. What is going on with you? I I haven't been able to sleep lately. I'm just exhausted. I'm sorry to hear that. Why aren't why aren't you sleeping well? I've been doing this thing to make a little extra money where I teach English to kids in other countries on the internet. Oh, don't you have to know other languages to do that? No, no, it's called language immersion. So I'm just supposed to talk to them in English and after a while they just pick it up. Oh, well that's really great, but... Yeah, it's really, uh... Huh, it's really great. Yeah. <sighs> he still didn't explain why he wasn't sleeping. Uh, it's because I have to get up at three in the morning to teach English to kids in China because that's when it's 4 p.m. in the afternoon over there. Huh. Then I take a two hour nap before I have to wake up to talk to some kids in Italy. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy. Time zones, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, another thing. <laughs> John. John! Hey, bud. It's time to... Ah, I'm sorry! He's really out. Soccer isn't a real sport. Who dares? Great, you're up. Uh, we, we really need to start the show. Oh, oh, okay. It's time for someone who knows stuff. I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm sorry, we're not used to having two guests on at the same time. Uh, is one of you supposed to be here next week? No, I'm pretty sure we're at the right week. Uh, uh, there are two people here, right? I, uh, or am I just sleep deprived? No, you're fine. Uh, okay, uh, tell us uh, who you are and what you know. My name is Mariah Miller and I am an engineer for Velcro. I, I am sorry, I am so tired. Which one of you is Mariah? I'm Mariah. Oh. And I'm Cheryl, Mariah's assistant and sign language interpreter. You'll hear my voice, but really it's Mariah doing the talking. She's the brains of this operation. Oh, oh, nice. Okay, wait, so you're, you're si this is sign language right now that you're doing? Oh. Do, you, do you mind if I ask, how long has she been... Um, you can talk to oh, her. Oh, sorry. How long have you been uh, hearing impaired? I was born deaf, and I can't remember a time when I didn't know sign language. Obviously, I can speak a little bit, but having Cheryl in my life has made it so much easier. Aw, thank you. 
So, 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 so wait, you've, you've, ne you've never been able to hear. It, it, that must be hard. It's hard, but I'm not gonna lie. Having, in here, having a hearing impairment doesn't make me any less capable than any other person. I go through the hard stuff like everyone else. Hmm. Plus, I try to look for the good in everything. Oh. oh, how do you mean? Well, I'm not able to hear now, but I know this amazing, beautiful language, sign language, mm -hmm. and I'm able to focus and keep out input from other people. <laughs> if someone wants to talk to me, I don't really want to talk to them. And they can't get my attention. Uh, even if they're yelling, I just don't have to look at them. Oh. I'm teasing. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. All right, we really ought to talk about uh, Velcro. No, no, no. Uh, can you teach me some sign language? This is how we say thank you. Oh, thank you. Cool. This is how we say I love you. I love you. Uh, yeah. I got it. Got it. It's a little I for I. Uh -huh. All right, all right, okay, L I got it. L for love, ah, Y for you. There. I love you. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, well, seriously, we're running out of time. Is there anything about Velcro you can tell us really quick? Velcro was modeled from a burr from a plant that the inventor found that was stuck on his pant legs after a walk with his dog. Wow. Hmm. It was also used in the first heart surgery to keep the heart together. Now that's interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they have Velcro inside an astronaut's helmet in case they want to scratch their nose. No kidding. You oh. want to try it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to try. Yep. That feels good. <laughs> it works. It works. It's true. Ooh. Yeah. That's, like, that's <laughs> lovely. Hey, thank you so much for coming on the show, uh, uh, Mariah, and you too, Cheryl. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. Yes. Uh, um, is there, uh, how do you clap? Is there a sign? Yeah. Oh, 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 like that, like that. Okay, okay. Nice. How do you say bye? Uh, oh. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. Can't you believe it. I didn't you know, know that. You know sign one. language. I know. <laughs> that was incredible. Yeah, it really was. <laughs> now I'm going to take a nap. Oh, man. We have to. Ah, no. Ah, oh. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Hold on. What are you doing? I, 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 it's time for me to teach a kid who's calling in from Moldova. Just, just act like I'm not here. Just keep going. Just act like I'm not here. So same as usual. Hello, my name, I, I'm your teacher. My name is John. J. Yeah. Uh, what is your name? While he's doing that, shh, it's- Shush, Oh, hi, Maxim. Uh, what is the weather like where you are here? It is sunny. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Mm -hmm. Hey, y'all. Shh. Oh, um. Hey, y'all. No, this is ridiculous. Kellen can't be quiet the whole time. We're doing a show. I'm sorry, Maxim. No, 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 no. It's fine. I, I, you'll be speaking English this time, won't you, Kellen? This time, yes. Great! Maxim, this is your new teacher, Callan. It's, it's, it's a really long word. Go ahead, Callan. Okay, then. Today's story takes place on a day we call Pentecost. This was after Jesus had risen from the dead and after he had been taken up into heaven. And if you remember, before Jesus left, he gave his followers a mission to tell the whole world about him from one end of the earth to the other. Seems impossible, right? Well, wait till you see what happens in this reenactment by your favorite acting troupe, the So-and-So Show Players. 
On the day of Pentecost, in the city of Jerusalem, the followers of Jesus gathered together in one place. So, what have you been up to since Jesus died, was resurrected, and then arose to heaven? I've been telling everyone I know about our risen Savior. Yeah, nice. Me too. Me too. Do you think that we're going to be able to tell the entire world? Well, I've told about like 50 people so far. How many people are in the whole world? Millions. Oh. Suddenly, a sound from heaven came like a strong wind. Oh, you hear that? Yeah, I, what is... What, what is that? They saw something that looked like fire in the shape of tongues. I don't know, but I'm sure we don't have the budget to animate it. They're right. So, the flames separated and came to rest on the followers of Jesus in the house. They were filled with the Holy Spirit. Oh, wow. That was incredible. C'est magnifique. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, are you speaking a different language? Oh. Mamma mia. Moi? Oh. <laughs> it's true. I am speaking French. And I am speaking fluent Italiano. Oh. Oh. And yet we understand each other. Oh. Potpourri, au duve encore. Bertoli, prego, ragu. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So, when they were filled with the Holy Spirit, all those gathered began to speak in languages they hadn't known before not in bad French and Italian accents. Fair dinkum. Nah, I'm speaking Australian. <laughs> Throw another shrimp on the barbie. <laughs> Boomerangs. Anyway, in Jerusalem that day, people from a bunch of other countries had gathered for an annual festival. And when they had heard the Jesus followers speaking their own language, they were amazed. Wow, that guy's speaking Australian, even though he's not from Australia. Cheerio! And I do believe I heard a Galilean speaking British at tea time. Spit spot. Oh boy. Again, the followers of Jesus were speaking languages they hadn't known before. And to be clear, none of them were speaking English. The point is, that all the people visiting Jerusalem from other countries understood what the Jesus followers were saying. So they understood when one of the followers, Peter, stepped forward. <gasps> what an entrance. I got chills. Let me explain something to you. Jesus was nailed to the cross, but God raised him from the dead. <gasps> Rapper. How wonderful. <laughs> Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Yes. What, what should, should we, we do? do? Mm. Turn away from your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then you'll be forgiven and you'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. <gasps> Are you in? Does an emu fly? <laughs> Does it? I don't know. <clears throat> We're in, mate. That day. 3,000 people from different countries and different languages became followers of Jesus. And they would take the story of Jesus back to their own homes and tell the story in their own language. So people from one end of the earth to the other would hear the good news. Isn't that amazing? Totally, really amazing. And speaking of amazing, let's give a big round of applause for the So-and-So Show players. Okay, wow, that, the Holy Spirit helped those Jesus followers do the impossible. I wish I had that. You do. Really? Yeah. Anyone who puts their faith in Jesus has the Holy Spirit. Then why can't I speak Australian? First, you can. And second, having the Holy Spirit doesn't mean you have the power to do whatever you want, whenever you want. But the Holy Spirit can help you keep going when things seem too hard for you alone. That's great. Good on you, Kellen. Uh -huh. Hey, I can speak Australian. Blah, blah, blah. We'll see you next time, Kellen. <laughs> Thanks for the story. You bet. Bye, guys. Bye, Maxim. Blah, blah, blah.
Oh, right, 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 right. Good job today, Maxim. Hey, I'll see you tomorrow for your next lesson. Okay, bye. Hi. Are you done for the day? Yeah, just only 18 more classes to go. Oh. John, I, listen, I think that this new teaching job is a great idea, but you might be overdoing it, don't you think? Are you kidding me? I'm good. The Holy Spirit can just get me through it. I know, but the Holy Spirit can also help you to be wise. You gotta have sleep, bud. John. John! Reveal the question! <laughs> the question of the day is, what helps you keep going? Mmm, sometimes coffee. Sometimes running in place. Oh, what helps you keep going? Not just when you're tired, when things are hard or when things are boring, maybe. What's something you can do or something you can think about to help you keep going? Talk about it together. And we'll see you next, we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. Are you okay? What a great story. That's right, guys. God always provides us exactly what we need to keep going and he always does it at just the right time, which reminds me of our memory verse that tells us to not become tired of doing good and that at the right time, God is gonna provide for us exactly what we need. Let's say it together. It goes like this. Let us not become tired of doing good. At the right time, we will gather a crop if we don't give up. Galatians 6, 9. Let's say that one more time. Let us not become tired of doing good. At the right time, we will gather a crop if we don't give up. Galatians 6, 9. What a good memory verse, you guys. Let's pray together, and then I have one question for you to think about this week. Pray with me. God, we know that there are times when we want things and we want you to give us those things, but God, we pray that we would remember that you have provided so many things for us at just the right time. So God, would you help us not to become tired of doing good, but give us the determination to keep on moving forward even when it's hard. We love you so much. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Awesome, guys. Well, I hope you have a great week. I just have one question that I want you to think about. What helps you keep going? What is it that you do or that you think about that keeps you moving forward, that helps you stay determined? What are those things? I wanna hear about it. So this Wednesday at seven o'clock, we are going to have an elementary Zoom game night, okay? This is for second through fifth graders, and I can't wait. It's gonna be so much fun. We're gonna have a new game we're gonna play. I get to, I wanna see your faces. You might get to see some of your leaders' faces. So I hope you'll join me at seven o'clock this Wednesday. Ask your parents to help you get on. It's gonna be a blast. See you then, bye.